What's up my enthusiasts? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This episode, we are recruiting Urbosa, the Gerardo Chief. Gerardo or Gerardo? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Embark. Um, before we do, let's steam mushrooms, a healthy vegetable dish, achieved by steaming mushrooms and plant leaves. Movement speed, plus 10%. Steamed fish, great for protein. A refined dish made by wrapping fish. A fresh fish and freaking wild greens and cooking it. Damage from enemies negative five percent. Let's do that. It's surprising. Mm -hmm. Um. Look, I love Rivali. He's the only amiibo that I bought of the champions, and it's the only one that I'm going to buy of them. However, let's use Mifa since she's new, and we didn't really get to use her as much. Um, yeah, we we're definitely using this trident right here. All right, onward. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Gerudo Desert. Comprised entirely of women, they were a tribe of great might and nobility. For her exceptional strength and her ability to harness lightning, Urbosa, chief of the Gerudo, was the clear choice to pilot divine beast Va Naboris. Zelda knew Urbosa thanks to her close relationship with the late Queen of Hyrule. With her party in tow, Zelda traveled to Gerudo Town to speak with her old friend. However, their journey took an unexpected turn. Urbosa, the Gerudo chief. I, I really mispronounced Gerudo. Alright, head to Urbosa. The higher ruling forces are attacking, just as Lady Urbosa warned. You see, the princess wishes to seize the land from under our feet. Stop her in her tracks. Advancing directly in the small town will be difficult. Let's go around the south side. Alright, let me take out the Gerudo captain here really quick. I love how we're just going after... Not humans, but like we're not going after monsters or creatures. That makes sense. Because usually, you know, Legend of Zelda, majority of the enemies are monsters or creatures. Um, Alright, cool. Let's head to the small village. Warriors, do not falter. Take Zelda down. So they think that we're going after their land. Huh. Weird. It's cool. I like it. That's actually a brand new premise because all the other times, all the other champions were like, Oh yeah, come on. We had this problem. All of them besides Rivali. So it seems like all the champions from the east, um, Mifa and Daruk, joined. You know, we were able to join them easily, but we had to take care of the their issue going on in their land. Rivali and Urbosa here, we have to... We're on the offense and they're on the defense granted I like taking down uh, Rivali's um, men I felt like that was more interesting than Urbosa's here Most uh, Urbosa's 
the soldiers are women, it looks like. Perfect, they have taken the bait, now attack. Oh, great. And phenomenal. A trap. When they simply pretend to be vulnerable, what does Urbosa think she's doing? Alright, there we are. Also, I like the representation. How Urbosa is in Indian descent. You don't see them you don't see as much Indian descent in video games. I'm I like that there's more representation in gaming to you know, represent everyone of all uh, race, um, sex, nationality. I think that's very powerful. I'm glad that Legend of Zelda is doing it. Not saying in the past that they were, you know, that they were all, oh, they're terrible. They don't represent, you know, everybody. But, you know, they're, they're not like the, you know, the game franchises that uh, have done that in the past, but more representation is always nice. Defeat the uh, Gerardo captains. Um, where's Zelda at? Look, it is only a small band of hoodlums overwhelm them with their with sheer numbers. Excuse me. Oh, there's Zelda. I too will perform my sworn duty. We got you, Zelda. We'll cover. Mifa, you did like way too many flips. That could have been an instant weak spot if you wanted to just like swam around all over the place. Why are you dithering, you fools? I ordered you to defeat the princess. Do it already. Is Lady Urbosa alright? She's acting rather unlike herself. I'm assuming that she's not... The gates are open, everyone! To Grodo Town. I feel like she's not in control of herself, that someone else is controlling her. Just keep... Uh, Mifa, stay with Princess Zelda, just keep her safe. Your prowess is undeniable. Thanks, Impa. Oh, here we are. Oh, Link's over... Okay. Mifa, stay with Zelda, Link. Um, let's move Link over to Urbosa to take her out. Not gonna lie, I hope something is controlling her because it, it would be so stupid. Oh, oh this was a, made, a misunderstanding, miscommunication of what we're trying to do. That'd be really stupid. It'd be like me dealing with my everyday job. It sucks. I love the little guardian is running around and like complete panic. Wait, can we go through these doors? Or do we have to capture this outpost like one at a time? Looks like I have to capture it one at a time because I'm looking around and... Do we? Can we? No, we can't go through. That's weird. Because I was going to say, the numbers of the Gerardo soldiers are kind of small. Alright, there we are. So I'm assuming this area is, yeah, another outpost or whatever you want to call it. I was gonna say, this is a bigger room. Please let there be more enemies. Abasa! <laughs> Why? What are you doing? Thwarting your destiny, of course. <laughs> Princess Zelda.
I came back as quickly as I could. <gasps> Not exactly what I expected to find. Abosa? I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> You've got some nerve thinking you can go toe to toe with Master Koga! Show you. <laughs> Yiga, assemble. Me excluded, of course. <laughs> what? Was Master Koga's title Top Banana? So, a double of Lady Urbosa was calling the shots, and now the town is utterly surrounded. And but we must maintain our composure. It is urgent that we reclaim the town. Um. Oh, sweet, I'm Urbosa right now. Awesome. And, okay, her troops are now on our side. Allow me to help. I am the reason you walked into this mess after all. Yeah, I was gonna say, where did she go? Urbosa. Rebosa, it's heartening to have you by our side. Now let's push back the Yiga clan. Yiga or Yaya? Prepare to die. Alright, Urbosa, I think might be my new favorite champion. And the only reason why is because her character looks like she has a lot of depth to her. Because it looks like her um, electric meter on the top left hand corner is building up when you take out groups of enemies or of course by charging up. Well, well. Grant, I bet you she's only like level five or something. No, not like this. Which sucks because everyone on my team is level 14, I believe. So it would, be, it would be nice to have her the same level as all of us. Yeah, I think she, she's my new favorite. Her attacks are nice and like they're swift and they're powerful and there's more depth to her. Her, like her attacks. So. Like I said, if she was a bit more powerful, these guys would be a whole lot easier to take out. The Blade Masters, I'm talking about. The town is secure, but the Yaiga clan is still an impending threat. There's a beast in the north that will keep them busy if we can lure it out of hiding. Head for the targeted position. Alright, cool. It looks like... Link and Mifa are on their way. Yeah, I was gonna say, they're not, we're not really that surrounded. Seems like there's just small, like, groups here and there. Can I go down and then go over? No, okay, cool. Well, we're gonna switch over to Link then. Since Link is literally close. The closest to it, I should say. And Urbosa can come catch up with us. Oh, okay, here we are. 
I was gonna say, yeah, they're they're not that many around, but now there are. Say not not the Moblins again. There we go. Link is the best with the flurry rush. For both sides, I would say it comes a close second. Out of all the champions. Mighty bananas, nice. It is sensitive to noise, so if the sound of battle battle ring loud enough, then perhaps I gotcha. Defeat the Yaga clan with attacks, and I didn't read the rest of it. Oh, with a loud attack. Was there something in mind that we should use? Bombs, got it. That should be loud enough to stir the creature. Come on, make a racket. I would say, let me get rid of the Blade Master really quick. Any loud attacks from Mifa or Obosa? Or any oh, okay, never mind, they're not even there. Mifa is an Elias. Okay, nice. Yeah, I like that. Really, the sound of lightning and thunder crashing wasn't enough to wake him. Alright, let's, let's use more bombs then. There we go, any moment now. Duga. All right. Um, okay, so it looks like, yeah, we're gonna have to go after the creature. Ha, I almost pitied the Yaga scum. <sighs> Protect your chief, you Nimrods, or do you want me to croak? The enemy is losing momentum. We must encircle them now. Are we not going after Molduga here, or? Okay, no, it looks like we're not. Capture the outpost, excellent. I mean, I'm fine with that. Let me charge up. You like being the Yaga's fools? No? Then show them the might of the Garado. Forward, everyone. Make the Yaga clan pay. Alright. So, we have to capture each of the outposts. Um, there's... Three of them here. Gosh dang it. Well, well. Hopefully no Blade Masters. There we go. Oh, 
there's way too many moblins here. Really, Link? Really? No, let's just keep playing as Urbosa. Not gonna lie, so far she's been my favorite champion. Out of the bunch. Me and Link can just attack random enemies. I, that's fine by me. Even though I think Urbosa right now is the weakest just because she's the newest champion. My time has come. Are you gonna help us out? Or, oh yeah, cool, she is. Nice. Alright, that's it. Alright, one more. Looks like we should probably go this way and go around from the south. Because I don't know what that big bat looking creature is on the map. God, there are just way too many moblins, even out here. Alright, last of the outposts. Nope, okay. Can't travel through the water. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. And there's a whole bunch of them. Love it. Um, yeah, let's do this. There we are. Finally, I was going to say, like, where is he at? The other one's popped up quite quickly. Or even just met us here. Nice. You. Looks like I have no choice but to wreck you myself. The enemy has opened the gates. Time to stamp out these Yaga pests. Okay, by the way, Urbosa is level 6. So it's better than what I thought, but still. She needs to get on a higher level. Because some of these Moblins are... Kind of annoying when they're not getting defeated with one hit. Yeah. I had a water type plan in you. You sank it. I'm going to make you regret that. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how Master Koga was in Breath of the Wild if he was even in the game. Because like I said before, I did not complete it. I don't know, just looking at him though, he doesn't seem like a difficult boss. Let's wait for him to come back in here. There we are.
Alright. Maybe I might need to bring Link in here. I'll obliter uh, obliterate you with this next move. A secret technique taught by my father's mother's father. Master Koga has replicated himself. We need to bring Link in here. Oh, he is in here. Excellent. And me Fizz too. Nice. Hopefully this is the uh, right Master Koga. Oh. Um, yeah, let's heal up. I was gonna say break free of that. So it's just Master Koga, it looks like. None of his men are here. Keep on, I'm gonna keep bombarding him. All right, let's end this. Yeah. How could these losers defeat me? To retreat. I think not. <laughs> Rebosa, the Grotto Chief. I don't think we're going to be doing the Divine Beast. I don't think there's any of that coming up. That was a lot with the boss fight as well. Nice. Oh, nice. Noble Pursuit. Nice name for a drink. Thank you for meeting me here. The town is a bit uh, chaotic, shall we say. Of course, Abosa. We'd meet you anywhere. You know about the Yiga clan, I trust. Sheikah traitors working in the shadows to revive Calamity Ganon. <sighs> Those lowlifes have been wreaking havoc here in Gerudo Canyon. <sighs> How long can we stand by and watch them get away with it? No longer, I say. I will pilot this divine beast. You are precious to me, and you need my help. I cannot refuse. Uh, thank you, Urbosa. A 
as Princess of Hyrule, I too will carry out my sworn duty. Little bird. <sighs> However I am able to support you, I will. Just say the word. So, you turned and fled. Is that it? Well, if they hadn't interrupted me... It seems that, as low as my expectations of you were, I was overly optimistic. What? Well, no matter. My harbinger, show me the future. That was the main uh, villain, by the way, in the cutscene. Urbosa, Gerardo Tempest. The chief of the Gerardo, who possesses the power to command lightning itself, she was close friends with the late queen of Hyrule. Now she is entrusted with pilots and divine beast Va Naboris. Cool. All right, I was gonna say, we're on to the next chapter, it sounds like. Uh, before we start all that, of course. No, okay, nope. I'm assuming we're on to the next chapter. Let's, um... No, we're still on chapter two. Great. Let's train up... Urbosa. Um... There we are. Because we need her on a higher... Well, we need actually all of them on a higher level. Uh, yeah, you know, they're fine. Everyone else is fine. Alrighty, the next episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. We will start... Whatever this is. Recommended level is level 16. So with all that being said, I'll see you guys on the next episode.